started. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Wake Up with Toastmasters. My name is Jean Williams. I'm your district director for District 115, which is Southern Nevada and a little piece of Utah. And this is my co-host, Jean Denford. Hi, Jean. Good morning. How are you today? I am busily working on trying to find our banner. Somebody moved it to a different locker. Uh, that happens. Well, we are still in search of a good intern. So, if you're, or even a producer, we are still lacking a producer. So if you would like to earn, if you're a Toastmaster and you'd like to earn an HPL or a DTM project, and if you are a Toastmaster, you know what those are, then reach out to us and we will help you. You will help us by being our producer and it will help you get that credit that you need. So reach out to us for that. But welcome to the new Toastmaster year. Oh, Gene's disappeared. He'll come back. <laughs> and let's talk about all the fun things that are going to happen this year, hopefully, but with things we have planned and meet some of the people. So I'll start with our division directors. And I will actually pull up a copy of our newsletter, which is wonderfully done. If you don't have, if you're a Toastmaster in District 115 and you're not getting the newsletter, reach out right away because we want to make sure you start getting that. It has great, great, great information. And I just want to show you. Uh, let me make sure I have it here and I need to go back over here and share a screen and show you the pictures of our some of our people. Um, and uh, just one, well, well, that didn't help. Okay, well, well, I'm not finding them right away. So I'll just tell you about them. Sorry, we'll work on it. We're going to work on getting you a copy of that. But you already have it in your box. So let me tell you, though. First, we have, of course, Ken Richardson, who you know very well. He is coming into the position of Program Quality Director, which is the one I had until yesterday. But I got a nice warm chair for him. We got a nice email address for him. The email address will stay the same. So you'll be able to reach him at D115PQD for Program Quality Director. And he will officially be your program quality director today. So if you see him, welcome him. But if not, you'll see him tomorrow on Wake Up with Toastmasters. Then we have Scott Transu coming to us. He is our new incoming club growth director. So again, for continuity, he'll take over the email address of D115CGD for club growth director. So those two gentlemen are going to be part of what they call the trio. And the three of us will do our very best to steer the ship and make sure that we do great things for you this year. To help us, we have division directors, which are this year, Larry Johnson, and he is part of Library 2.0. This is the second or third gig being the area director, so he's great at it. But Library 2.0 is a corporate club. If you are part of the Las Vegas Clark County Library District and you're not there yet, you're missing out. They have dynamic meetings, they're a smaller club, get a lot more attention, uh, but fabulous, fabulous people. A couple of them have been area directors already. Uh, just great leadership ability and you will love the club. So visit that. They are hybrid and they're meeting at the library, uh, Rainbow Library, but look for your inner office email to attend that one and you'll find it. Our next, that's Division A. Division B will be Anita Della Croce. She has done area director, this will be her fourth time, fourth time doing it. So she's great at it. So we've got some great, great people doing this for you. Anita is Vegas Stars Sunday at 2.30 every Sunday. That one has an occasional in-person meeting, but right now is predominantly online. Then we will have Phyllis Wall, who is from, who's done, been Eric, Eric director once or twice, and now has decided to step back into leadership. I think me pleading and begging, maybe, persuaded her a little bit but but that's okay she's there and she is from Windjammers they meet on uh every when every Wednesday morning at 7 30 you'll see them streamed live on Facebook and they also meet at Skinny Dugan's there at 7 30 so they are they are hybrid 
Uh, and I will say Skinny Dugans is very accommodating and has great food. So there's that. And the other thing Phyllis is known for is Phyllis was what instrumental in, in chartery, chartered our advanced club called Sage Leaders. It's for someone who's already in a leadership, a club leadership position or above, who wants to really get a lot of advice and help and support in their leadership journey. And I'm very excited to be that club, in that club and, and becoming their president. I, they're very selective about who becomes the president. So I'm really grateful I was selected as president for that club. But it's a wonderful club. Uh, they have a little bit different format. It's all about all about leadership, all the topics, everything you'll learn will be about leadership, the support, everything. And the occasional, there'll be occasional meetings, I think about every second or third meeting will be a discussion table format where there'll be a topic you can discuss at a discussion table and you can learn so many things in a discussion table. That's where you can bring your concerns, your questions, or if there's a topic you are want to see in a future discussion table, the club's very open-minded, very creative. So that's the club. And that one is second and fourth Tuesdays at 6 p.m. So look for that. That's so it's Phyllis is in both of those clubs, the advanced and the regular club. And then rounding up the four is Jennifer Smith, who you all know on Wednesday mornings. Uh, Jennifer is fantastic. She's stepping out of the position of public relations manager and into division director. A little bit of a leap there. And she will inevitably meet the challenge with no problem at all. Uh, an incredible an incredible person. Jennifer, we love you. If you're listening to us, we especially love how you always pull my, my uh, self out of the fire. But Jennifer will be Division D. And Jennifer, as you know, is from Valley Voices and Vices. They meet Fridays at 7.30. Whoa. So we got through all of our division directors. Some of our other people rounding out. Um, just a second. The other people rounding out, we will have our uh, logistics manager, will be Nadia Gilks. Our administrative assistant for the year is Dana Wall Oakley, also of Windjammers. And all, Dana's also in Star Masters, which meets on first and third Tuesdays at 6 30. I'm trying to get all the clubs right, see if I can do this from memory. And Nadia is in Jackpot, and that is. Sundays from 1 till 3 p.m. And all these times I'm giving you are Pacific times. So I think I got it all right so far. Will Riggs is our uh, finance manager. Will, I don't know your club. I am, I'm very sorry. I will make it up to you. I will find it out and make sure that we talk about it on Monday morning on Mark Your Calendar Monday. And then, our, of course, our media past district director, which is part of the, the big group of leaders, is Carol Campbell. I think she's probably on her way for a camping trip, enjoying that she's not in leadership anymore in, in a past, not uh, having to do as much work right now. So enjoy, enjoy the vacation, Carol. You deserve it. You work hard. And also, if you look at the newsletter, there's a wonderful article Carol wrote about how this year went and the upcoming years. So that's wonderful. And I think, oh, public relations manager. Now, Jennifer has been doing a fabulous, fabulous job. And I think that's a little bit intimidating because now I can't find anybody who would like to be a public relations manager. Had a couple leads. Uh, but if you are interested in being a public relations manager, reach out to me. Let's talk. Uh, let, or reach out to Jennifer and talk to her. Let her tell you what's going on, all the things she has to do. Uh, to, Try not to dwell on the fact that I need special help sometimes and consider if you'd like to be the district public relations manager. That does give you district credit, district leadership credit. Uh, that shouldn't be the only reason you're doing it, though. We really need someone phenomenal at that, at the helm of that ship or at, in the leadership for that. So if you are interested in that, reach out to myself or to Jennifer. Say I'm interested in learning more about public relations manager, but I think when she starts explaining it, just don't get overwhelmed. But if you're good at technology and are creative and resourceful, think about applying for that. And that, so now I'm going to talk a little bit about what to expect in the new year. Oh, I'm sorry, one more step, area directors. So we talked to this time, we're going from the top down 
about uh, um, leadership. So we started with me, Ken, Scott. We talked about the division directors. Now we have area directors. I'm not going to name them all today because we still have just a couple vacancies. We're narrowing down the vacancies, but we do have just a couple more. So, thanks. But the what we're looking at though is we need just a few more area directors. So if you're interested in being an area director, let me know. We still have two two areas in. Division A, working for Larry Johnson, working with Larry Johnson, and two positions in Division B, working with Anita Dela Croves. So if you are interested in being an area director, please reach out and let us know. It's not too late. It is July 1st, but the first training is not for another week and a half. So get, in, get, your, get your interest in there right away. I, we're getting a couple applications. They're trickling in, but we just need those last four people. So, and that's to help the clubs. Think about it this way. If it doesn't have to be an area where your club is at, it, but it can, it gives you a chance to help the other clubs. And I will say, I put it off and put it off till the very last minute for myself. And I, I, I'm sorry that I waited so long because there's so many things to learn. And if you really are wanting to learn more about leadership or really try to be a, a better leader, then area director is a great position. It really helps you flex a lot of muscles and you, it eases you in. There's there, you'll meet great people. You'll have fat, you'll have the best clubs. I can guarantee you because everybody has the best club, but I think every area director I've ever known, we all sit and go, Oh no, no. I had the best area director year because my clubs were the best. And, and so we have for you the best clubs set aside so that you can be area director over those. And it really does help. A, a good area director can help a club that's struggling and a and learn from all your clubs, things you can learn and practice and take back to your club, things that your club can share with them. You also have a chance to look at those future leaders, that person who's shy or that person who's thinking about being a leader, but then they see you come into the club and they think, well, you know, I, I could try, I could try. But if they only see the people in their club, maybe they're not getting, maybe they don't just need that little bit more attention and that would be you. So if you're interested in being an area director, please consider it seriously. If you, if you know you're ready, you've just been putting it off, don't put it off anymore. And I'll tell you why, another reason why, other than the fact that it's a really fun, cool job. We're gonna have a phenomenal year. We are coming out, although, although the pandemic is not over, and I acknowledge that very soundly, but we are hopefully at the tail end of it and we are getting out and doing things more. I think we're much more aware of touching each other. I think everybody in the nation, not just Toastmasters, we're much more aware of that distancing. There's no problem wearing masks if you want to, which I'm glad of having allergies and needing to work in the yard at times. And there's so many things though that we have learned over the last two years. We've become uh, much more modern with having te technology that was shoved in our face that we weren't ready for. I kind of joke that COVID shoved us through a door that we weren't ready to walk through, but here we are. And we have embraced that as Toastmasters. We have clubs online. We have clubs that are hybrid. We are being creative. I am considering if you are an out of area person who's part of District 115, but you live out of the Las Vegas area, if you're interested in being an area director, reach out to me, we'll talk. There, there might be possible to work with you as a remote area director. Um, so let me know if you're interested in that because we wanna make sure every, every one of our members can move toward getting their distinguished Toastmaster. But we are looking at, we are in a situation now where we have to be creative. We have to be resourceful. We have to just pull out of this the rest of the way. So let's let's do that. So that's the year you can look forward to this year is a year of being creative. And if you are a creative person, or even if you're not and you want to be more creative, let's do it. Let's be creative. If we have, even if you have an idea that's a little bit off the wall, we have a district leadership committee for you just full of very creative, resourceful people. And we're ready to hear your creative ideas, have you part of the team as an area director or as a Toastmaster in a club. 
now's the time to be open-minded, to be creative, to reach out, find ways, ask for ways to help all of our clubs just really pull forward. And, and we're also gonna have a lot of fun doing it. Some of the things we have in store, we started in Richmond night last year. That's the second Saturday of every month, but we're getting more and more topics and I'm looking and people are, are noticing that when they request a topic, they're getting it within one month, sometimes only two months at the most. So if there's a topic you're, you want covered, your club wants covered, uh, the topics we've had are technology topics are always requested. We've covered things like, um, uh, we've even covered things like publishing a book. That one came up once because somebody visited one of our advanced clubs, authors, Friday night, 6 p.m., come to that. We also have had uh, Zoom classes. We've had classes on setting up hybrid meetings. And of course, a ton of leadership classes, uh, body language, verbal, verbal, vocal variety, uh, tall tales, how to write a story, how to judge a speech. We've had so many classes and that will be even more fun. And that's going to continue. So Enrichment Night will continue. And in July, July 9th, Enrichment Night is not going, Enrichment Night is still happening on July 9th. But there will be a whole lot more people in the room when you walk in the virtual room. It's a virtual event because that will be our virtual TLI, which is Toastmaster Leadership Institute. That will be on July 9th at 6 p.m., same time as Enrichment Night. And you can come and learn about the club office that you just took over or attend some of our educationals. And we will have as our educationals a class on the club success plan, a class on starting new clubs. I look for those. But. And that's all in the newsletter. It's outlined there. But look for those things because uh, let me let me in fact tell you the two topics to be absolutely sure. That is, yeah, the club success plan and oh, and the distinguished club program. And that one seems to it's a little hard to grasp the club six the, the distinguished club program until you've heard it a lot of times, or when you become an area director, it starts to become more apparent. Then the other, and that, those two will be taught by uh, Nadia Gilks, and who's our incoming logistics chair. And the other class is creating quality clubs, which is taught by Sherry Parker, who's a past district director. So you've got some great people teaching those. And of course, the regular club um, officer training. Then our for our new district officers, including our incoming area directors, and hopefully you, if you're interested in being an area director, that training, the first training they will have is July 16th, and that will be online. They will have some in a meetings in person. So they'll have training about every other month on average, and we're trying real hard for the next one to be in person, but this one will be online. Then game night, of course, will be the final Saturday of every month, the last Saturday of the month, either the fourth or fifth, depending on which one's the last. And that is from 6 to 8 p.m. And if you're not coming to that, you're really missing out because we're having just a really a blast. This last time we played Balderdash and Pictionary. So you should play one game for about a half hour, the other game for about a half hour. And if you have a game you like and you'd like to come see what it, it's like at game night, and then come and play your game and we'll all have fun with that too. We've had escape room challenges. Um, we've had uh, Scrabble. That, that was a little more challenging than we thought, but we've had Boggle and word games and just all sorts of things. So come to that, look for that. And that's also a virtual event. Hmm, let's see. So we talked about being creative. We talked about being an area director. Please look at that seriously. We need to accept that. We need four more. Four more is all. And we will, again, consider remote app applications from people who need to serve remotely. And I want to thank all of our area directors that are uh, leaving us. And I want very much to say to all of them, all the outgoing division directors who are relaxing today, all the area directors, you guys did great. The, this last year was probably the most challenging in several years because these were the people that were running, you know, trying to find contests, set up contests in person. Uh, the conference was in person and the people who had served for the two years before them had not done anything in person. So it was hard to look at their predecessors and get the help that they would normally get. And they pulled out phenomenal contests, absolutely incredible conference. 
so shout out to every one of them. And a special shout out to Steve Goldstein, who worked really hard behind the scenes. He's one of our past district, the actually the first district director for District 115, uh, because we were been a district now. This will be our fourth year. And he also was our conference chair. Steve's incredible. Thank you, Steve. And so oh, Saturday morning, I got to make sure I get this right. Saturday morning live, uh, 10 p.m., I think. It could be 9, I'm sorry, a.m., a.m., not p.m., a.m. That's why it's called Saturday morning. <laughs> it's either 9 or 10 a.m. Uh, but look for that on Find a Club. But they are a great club, too. So I think that I've thanked all the people that are need to be thanked and all the people that, uh, I think so. I think I got everybody. Anything on Facebook, Jean? Oh, you're muted. Hi, I was trying to work on the background, uh, doing some other things and it's not working out for me. But I will tell you that Jennifer and Nadia are both online chatting with us and probably some other people that are too shy to say, hey, I'm, I'm watching this Facebook feed right now. Well, see, Nadia, we're trying to talk Nadia into becoming our new public relations manager, but, you know, just, well, we'll still, she said she'll think about it. So <laughs> maybe she hasn't rolled it out yet, but uh, she's been it before. So, that, you know, don't want to go to the well too often. She's incredible, but uh, she will be our logistics chair. So that's incredible too. And Jennifer, look what you've done, Jennifer. You've set the bar way too high, but we're glad of that because this has made our, Jennifer served for two years as public relations manager, which is a, a year more than, than most people. And absolutely, Jennifer, I, I don't even know words enough to thank you but you have done an incredible job. And I think that's why I'm super excited about you being a division director. I look forward to seeing what, what you do. And, and see, she was pushed toward leadership. So if you're at a club, you can't do a leadership position for whatever reason, but you see somebody who's an emerging leader in your club, nudge them toward area director. And the answer will be, I'm not ready for that. But honestly, you may be surprised that you're more ready. And we also do have people uh, like Gene, who's been not only area director, uh, area, he was an area governor back when it was still called governor, but he was area director and division director twice and has offered to step in and mentor anybody who feels like they need a little extra help to take on the job of area director. So look for there are people, he, he's one of our mentors that are standing by. And we have two more mentors standing by for a potential area director that might need a little extra help because they're not as comfortable as, as they might like to be. But you might be surprised you find out how easy it is. And rewarding. It is really is rewarding. I, I always, that's very cliche, but it really is rewarding. But we have all of the, but anyway, so some of the exciting things we have coming up. So in October, we're having a Hall of Fame event. And that, that will be fun because it will be in person. We're scoping out the final touches on a great venue. So we're looking for a great venue. There'll be food. Uh, and we'll also be giving out awards. And though most of the awards will be for the Toastmaster year that ended yesterday. So we'll uh, have our area director of the year, our division director of the year. I think we'll end up with a, uh, having a memorial award or a legacy award. And that was the first one that received it for our district was Georgia Vice. We miss her very much. And uh, we kind of called her the mother of District 115. Uh, she was uh, an older lady, 29 plus, plus, plus. But we, but we loved her very much and we miss her very much. So we created the Legacy Award for District 115. And uh, it is, uh, unfortunately, we have people to consider for this next year. And that's for this past year, we've lost a couple more. Then we also, though, will have incentives. The incentives that people have won will be handed out. So two of those incentives are going on right now. One of them is get all seven officers trained. Only four are required for the Distinguished Club Program, which is a crying shame because it should be all seven. So to really reward the clubs that get all seven trained, 
we do have an incentive going on right now. You have July 9th to get training within District 115, but there are other districts that are having virtual online club officer training. If you just can't make July 9th and you haven't had your training yet, go to one of those events, reach out to, uh, it would be Ken Richardson, let him know where you got your training and when so we can get that put into the computer and get you credit for being there. And so that's one of our incentives. The other one we haven't done yet as a district, but we're excited about it. And that's get your website up to date. The Toastmasters International has Find a Club, which links to your club's website. F Free Toast Host is where you'd find those websites. And we, at the last TLI, had Jean standing by to answer questions on Free Toast Host. Uh, I might just uh, see if, we're able, if we can do that again at the online TLI so that you can get your questions answered about Free Toast Host. But with that, between those two systems, you have, a dis you have a club website. You have a club website. You didn't have to create it, it's there. But now you need to get it updated. So that's our second incentive for July and August is get your website updated. It came out in the newsletter. There'll be other information about it. And there's nine items. The ninth may not be applicable to your club, but there's those nine items the first eight and if applicable the ninth if you go through that list and your website has all those things and you respond to inquiries within seven days then you will your club will win an incentive so that will be happening for july and august and those winners will be announced at that october hall of fame event then we're also going to have uh, one of the things we're, we're talking about for our incoming, another incentive over the next couple of months is the invite a friend to a meeting. So that one, the details will come out about that. But all the incentive winners for incentives in July, August, and September will all be announced at the Hall of Fame event in October. So look for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. And that will be in October. So we have all sorts of creative events. We're trying to look at per, perhaps in the in the spring having a barbecue. I still want to do that. We were all set for Division E when we were Division E uh, when I was Division Director. Then, of course, the pandemic happened and we haven't been able to do that since. But where I talked to the, the, our new trio, we're hoping we can do that for you in the spring. So look for fun, exciting things. I'm excited to be your District Director. I'm excited to hear your ideas of what you wanna do, how you envision your district and things you want us to do for your district, for you and your club and your district. So any last minute comments before we close it up, Jean? I was actually trying to work on a new banner for uh, some incoming district director. Uh, but it's not uh, it's not cooperating too well to come across from one box to a different box. So we will have to do that next time. But I congratulate you on your election to district director. And today is the first day of your new career as district director. What a burden you have heaped on your shoulders. <laughs> I will do everything I can to assist you in the background and push you forward. And I'll try to get you a little banner up that says district director and, and make Ken the program quality director and then find Scott and put him in as program quality director. Club growth. Club growth. There you go. Club growth. We'll, we'll get it right. Well, and maybe we'll just have all brand new banners, you know, just That's revamp them idea. completely. A whole we'll new find, format. We'll find a professional to do banners for us <laughs> rather than the sloppy interns we've got working on it right now. <laughs> well, well, we'll keep working on it, but thanks. And those of you who are on Facebook, thank you very much for watching. Thanks, you guys. We'll have mark your calendar Monday. If your club is having an open house, get that flyer over to me. You can still use the uh, the D one one five PQD for Program Quality Director. I'll look. I'll check one more time on Monday, and then I'll have to just give that that over to Ken completely. But if you have any open house flyers or you want your club mentioned, because all we do on, we'd like on Monday, the first priority on every Monday is mark your calendar. And then we add in an extra little, a small topic or a small, a bunch of announcements. But 
Thank you very much, those of you in District 115. And those of you who can join District 115, visit a club, visit at least two or three clubs, find the one that clicks for you, and you can be part of the fun, part of the festivities, part of the learning, uh, improving your public speaking skills, improving your leadership skills, and being part of a really great organization. And with that, I will say goodbye. If you see us on Facebook, like, comment, share. And we will roll out the new district director email uh, by Monday morning and get all that information fixed and info up for you. So thank you very much. And you, we will see you on Monday morning on Wake Up with Toastmasters.